Let's do the fork in the garbage disposal. Let's do the fork in the garbage disposal. Stop! I lost my contact. Found it. What's up? Hey, real quick, let me talk to you guys. Okay, it's today, June 30th, the beginning of your careers, right? Second biggest day at the graduating weekend. Okay, the biggest challenge is about to come up, and that's the way you're on holds. Okay, because there may be a long time between your schools, or your operator school, your maintenance school, whatever you're going to do, or APT if you put in a, a six year conversion. <coughs> Who did put in this package? Four people. Okay, so, uh, you know, you're going to lose sight of the structure you had in A school, marching, being here at a certain time, being pretty structured, right? It's all going to fall off come Tuesday. Okay, you're not going to be marching. You're going to have a lot of free time on your hands, I'll tell you that. Don't get in trouble. Okay? Take advantage of it to, to be proactive and do some okay? good things. Don't, don't find yourself in a bad situation. Just to get all this free time. Okay? Uh, remember that this is the basics, A school. Okay, you're going to earn the Star Tech rating today, STG, SN. Okay, before your name, you're no longer a seaman, and now you're a sonar technician. Uh, this is the basics. Nine weeks, you can't learn everything, but we gave you the fundamentals. So when you get to the Navy and then to the fleet, you get to a ship or the IUSS site, your job is to continuously train upon what you're learning here, especially acoustic analysis. You get to a ship, and the last time you've done acoustic analysis would probably be in A school. Your training petty officer, your division, your chief, your LPO should have a good training program in place where they're continuously upgrading and, and honing those skills of acoustic analysis. So you're always doing it because it's a skill that if you don't do it, you're going to forget it. I'll tell you that right now. If you don't do a lot, you're going to lose it. So make sure make sure that you're proactive about training. You can always get a pub in front of you and when you're on watch. Let me sit down read the magazine. Okay, just kind of find something to do. Always continues to train and study. Okay? You're ready for when you're, you're going to finally do your job because it's going to be few and far between when you do ASW. Okay? If you're in Japan, San Diego, Hawaii, you're going to do ASW a lot. You're going to do sonar a lot. If you're in Norfolk, Mayport, you may hardly ever do your job. Okay? But you've got to train to be ready to do it at any time. All right? So this is a very good class, and that's why I'm here today. I'm on leave. But I came in for this graduation because I haven't had any problems in this class, so I kind of respect that, okay? So I can this day. Okay, but congratulations. If you guys need anything while you're here on base, you know where we're at, okay? You guys can come over anytime to get questions about anything. Your schools, your ship, where you're headed, okay? How was the course? Well, all right. Then we got pretty good instructors, and we're getting, we're getting it even better, okay? So. If you guys got any suggestions, I haven't read your critique yet, so I've been a bit to leave, but if you got any questions that I that have been addressed, be sure to let me know. Okay? Okay, thank you. French on deck! The sailors, free. Aye. 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 I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America, and I will obey the orders of those appointed over me. I represent the fighting spirit of the Navy and of those who have gone before me to defend freedom and democracy around the world. I proudly serve my country's Navy combat team with honor, courage, and commitment. I am committed to excellence and the fair treatment of all. From the Department of the Navy, this is to certify that STGSN Kaya M. Seeger has completed the prescribed course of instruction in Sonar Technician Surface A School Class 11120, given at Fleet Anti Submarine Warfare Training Center, San Diego, California, signed R.A. Thomas, Captain, United States Navy Commanding Officer. STGSA Jacqueline M. Sawyer. STG SN Brooke L. Miller. STG 
STG SA Ashton M. Ford. STG SA Emily A. Curtin. STG SN Kenneth L. Welch. STG SN Andrew J. Smelter. STG SN Grigori B. Dragic. STG SN David M. Cole. STG SR Samuel J. Zigomara. STG SN Daniel S. Field. STG SN Jeremy T. West. STG SR Benjamin P. Wagner. STG SN Lawrence J. Pace. STG SN Kenneth M. Bodilla. <laughs> STG SA Person, Friend and Center. Anti-Submarine Warfare Training Center honor graduate. This is to certify that Sonar Technician Surface Seaman Apprentice Emily A. Persian has attained recognition through scholastic achievement and proven leadership. This recognition has been earned while displaying the traditional spirit of Navy teamwork as a class member of 11120. Fleet Anti-Submarine Warfare Training Center, San Diego, California, takes pride in presenting you with this certificate in recognition of your achievement upon graduation as first in your class with a 98.83% grade point average. Signed. R. E. Thomas, Captain of the United States Navy, Fanny The National Sonar Station, A School Honor Graduate Award. This is to recognize that SDG SA Emily A. Persian has completed Sonar Technician A School attending the highest grade point average. Presented the 30th day of June 2011. Signed W. Lubaki Pablo, President, National Sonar Association. Class one one two zero. That is. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations. This is great. How do you guys feel? Pretty good. Thumbs up. Yeah. Feel tired. Forty weeks coming up. Football. Hey. What's up? Football. Thanks, guys. Okay, well, this is great. I remember uh, 
20 years ago in that building over there, I put my uh, ST uh, badge on me. It felt awesome. So I know you guys feel pretty good. Um, I'm proud of you. And the man's proud of you guys as well. We made it to the film. No more marching on Tuesday, right? Everybody like marching? You like it? You can march with it. There's no one saying you can't do that. Okay, but you don't have to. You're part of the club. Okay, so this is just the beginning. So now you're doing your rated ST. And uh, now what? Now we've got training. You guys don't have a little bit of coming. Okay, we'll just slow them. We'd like them to do that. Uh, we'll get you there. So the next step is your officer maintenance. And then what's your pipeline? There's no 5 you are applying for the AEF program. That's fantastic. Uh, hopefully you get selected for it. And if you don't, it's not because of your performance. It's because we have too many main campuses. So we we'll keep that in mind. Um, but if you do, great. We will have you. We'll put you down the ATC. You'll learn the advanced uh, technical training. So you know, learn all those little you know, problems and figure how that works out. And then um, from there, you learn how to be a, an operator. Everyone's going to be an operator. They're going to have to be six hours and most of them six hours. Um, but they have to make stuff. That's where we stick around the base for about a year. So I would say we're going to be here. Um, but, um, by the time you get to your ship, hopefully you'll have the tools to become a value member of your crew. Um, you'll have the basics to be able to sit down, operate the system, but maybe not know how exactly you know, how to employ it, but that's what the ship's going to do. They're going to teach you the kitchen work and uh, get you out there. So uh, congratulations to you. This is probably, I'm not probably going to graduate in class before the can be. This is the last day of school class for me. I'm going to say that again, have something happen in October. So this is the last school for me uh, for graduation. Um, bittersweet for me, like I said, I started over here in Building 1, or Building 1, 20 years ago. So I know exactly what you guys feel like. Uh, very uh, humbling to leave here and graduate into this classroom before I go. Um, welcome to our guests. Uh, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Um, and there are uh, favorite, like to say a few words? Or what the hell I got? Congratulations. Well, guys, I'm proud of you. Uh, uh, again, uh, have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Don't, don't go out too hard. And, uh, and celebrate too much in this four day week. Do a small thing. Well enough. Congratulations. That's it. Can you